I'm going to continue working through the benefits that I'm seeing with Snapchat compared to other options I've used in the past. If you've ever uh, used the YouTube iOS app, it's a very good app. It's 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 it makes sense that YouTube is becoming you know the the modern day cable network. A lot of content, a lot of high quality uh, experience on YouTube. However, I find that when you open a YouTube Shorts video, when you're not when you don't have the YouTube app, it I used to think that oh the that person must have uploaded it with the wrong aspect ratio and it comes out really blurry and distorted. But I think that's YouTube – it's possible. I can't confirm this, but I think it's possible that YouTube wants you to download the YouTube app. So they, uh, they make that user experience not great. However, I like that my Snapchat videos can um, not be beholden to that because if you actually go to my public profile on Snapchat, you can watch these videos with no issue even if you don't have a, uh, a Snapchat account. Uh, Facebook has a similar thing to this with Facebook TV, but it's it's a little tougher with settings over there in my experience. 